eScuba is the exclusive distributor for Sea Life products in Australia, and we're proud to be able to offer the uh, Sea Life Mini 2. Uh, this is a easy to use uh, sport enthusiast camera, both dive and sport. So whether you're snorkeling or diving, uh, kayaking, backpacking, uh, it's a great little camera, uh, easy to set up, uh, very rugged, makes a great little outdoor type camera. The Sea Life Mini 2 comes with everything you need to be able to take pictures and download them to your computer. The package includes two AAA batteries, your USB adapter, a flash link adapter which allows if you're using an outside strobe, external strobe, allows you to attach a fiber optic cable. Also comes with the cleaning brush for cleaning the o-ring and the land. And then also you've got a spare o-ring your lanyard for the camera, and of course your instruction manual, and then also a soft case for traveling uh, with the camera. Now installing the batteries, and the only thing that you, you will need to include will be a, an SD card. Uh, the camera is very easy to load in the batteries and the SD card. Little compartment there, it's marked very simply for the plus and minus on the batteries. You've got a place where your SD card goes in. The O-ring just needs to be clean and dry so that no water will get in there. And uh, you're ready to go. Once everything's installed, everything you'll need is be in the package. Uh, very simple to uh, set up and get going. Just about every uh, outdoor enthusiast at some point, whether they're camping, hiking, kayaking, river rafting, snorkeling, or diving, would like to take pictures of their, of their adventures. The Sea Life Mini 2 is an outstanding camera for this. Due to the, the nice compact size of the camera, uh, the rugged rubber armored case around it, it'll, it'll actually take the, the bumps and bruises and the, the falls and drops that most cameras uh, wouldn't be able to handle. Uh, very simple to use and set up. Uh, the package comes with everything you need. Uh, basically to get the camera up and running, you're going to open up the one latch and the hatch that, complete, that covers the uh, inside of the camera. It has the O-ring there, which just needs to be clean and dry while you're, uh, before you put it in the water. Uh, battery compartment, very simple to go ahead and place the batteries in. Easily marked on the camera as to which way the batteries go. And then you just include an SD card, which needs to be purchased separately. Once that's installed, O-ring is in place clean and dry, go ahead and lock everything back down, and you're ready to go. Once turning the camera on, you can go to the mode button and go to the setup, which is very simple to do. And you'll get to where the camera is actually asking you whether you're shooting land or underwater. Uh, in this case, we're going to go ahead and go into land. Once I've picked land, I set it by pushing the shutter button, and we're set to take pictures. You have the scenic mode, which is for about maybe one to two meters to infinity. If you're taking pictures that are going to be closer than that, say about a half a meter to maybe a meter and a half, uh, you just switch over to the macro mode, and that'll auto focus down to the closer, um, closer measurements there. Uh, the camera is that simple to set up. Once it's set up, it's ready to go. Uh, very compact, very small, very rugged camera, nine megapixels. Uh, we'll take a flash uh, or wide angle lens on there, so it's a very, very unique uh, outdoor enthusiast camera uh, that can be used for, for many, many uh, sports like scuba diving or snorkeling, hiking, kayaking.